hello friends welcome back in this video we will see how to add two integers in java eclipse so let's start it before writing the program very first step is create the java project after creation of project create one package in your project now create one class in your package so keep in mind that while creating the class always select main method because if you select the main method then main method comes automatically in your program if you not selected main method then you need to write the main method in your program up to now we have created one class with main method now let's create two integer variables namely x and y and initialize them with some numbers that need to be added let's initialize first integer variable x with value 5 and second integer variable y with value 6 now we need to add this variable and store the result in one integer variable so that's why we need to add third integer variable we can uh, give the name as sum is equal to x plus y here sum is the integer variable which adding the value of x and y so that's why integer sum is equal to x plus y up to now we have taken two numbers and store it in integer variable x and y and now we have taken the third variable as a sum and we are storing the sum in third integer variable now the next step is to print the sum of x plus y so we write here a print statement that is system dot out dot print alien into bracket sum now our program is ready now save and run it so after the run you observe that in output the addition of two numbers is showing as 11 our first number is 5 second number is 6 and the addition of both number is 11 so at the output side we will see 11 is the output so as this way we can add two numbers by a very simple logic now we will see the complete syntax of main method our main method is always public static void main string args because here public is the access modifier and it has to be public so that java runtime can execute this method and now the second one is the static our main method is always static because when java runtime start there is no object of the class present that's why the main method has to be static so that jvm can load the class into memory and call the main method then next is the white this is a return type main method return nothing that's why it is void and then main is the our method name and then string args the string args is nothing but type of string array actually the java main method accepts a single argument of type string array this is also called a java command line arguments so as this way we have created a simple program of addition of two integer numbers and executed so same way we can write the programs uh, for a division multiplication and subtraction only changes here third variable integer here we are adding two numbers that why we take sum if we are writing the programs for division then you can change the third variable that is division and you can change the expression as well if you are doing the multiplication then you can change the expression it it should be like the multiplication then for the for the division if you are doing the programs for division of two numbers then you can change this uh, third variable name as well as the expression which we are writing here and same way you can uh, initialize these two numbers and write the expression 
and take a take it take this expression at the output and you can save and run the program for all other addition division multiplication and subtraction also